Welcome Sagittarius guys. I'm back with another video. So, this is the general love read. So, take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, so, if you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey girl, hey, hey bro, hey. Alright, so, let's get into it. Give me a message for Sagittarius please. Okay, we just got this energy from Aries. That was the first card that popped out for them, too. Oh, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. So we got family. We also have surrender. And then we have guide. Now at the bottom of the day, we got free will, release, and action. Okay, so Spirit is saying, look, you got free will to release what no longer serves you. I see you feeling like you have to surrender something for maybe for your family because you are the uh, chosen one. You are the one that has, um, that is in tune with your spirit, guys. Um, you have the master plan. So you're shining the light for your family. So maybe there's something that you feel like you have to surrender. You're willing to do this. I feel like you're just trying to figure out what it is that needs to be released. And I feel like once you figure out what needs to be released, then you'll be uh, taking action towards that. I feel like a lot of people look up to you. You're very admired. You're very admired, like, especially, like, in your family. Like, a lot of people in your family look up to you, okay? A lot of people in your family look up to you. But there's definitely something that you are having to surrender because I got destruction and purge here, okay? So... There's definitely something that needs to be let go of, that needs to be torn down. This this way of thinking or this way of doing something no longer um, will or should um, go with you. Because I see you guys are on some type of journey. There's something that you need to let go of. Now, we got a victim. You got a victim here. I'm not sure. Maybe someone's playing the victim. I'm not sure it's like somebody could be playing a victim or you're a victim to something that you need to release or let go of. Okay, there's a need to compromise. You got some, you got a dream. We got big dreams here. Okay. You have some type of goal that you're trying to attain that you're working towards you're being admired you're being sought after people like what you're doing but there's something that you have to surrender okay something that you may need to compromise in order for this dream to manifest okay okay i see you taking a tribe with you you're taking a tribe with you. You have a lot of responsibilities. You have a lot of people who look up to you, who depend on you to make this happen. You made a commitment. You made a commitment that you're going to see it all the way through that this dream will manifest into your reality. Spirit say, you hear that? That's confirmation. You made a commitment to your family and people that you're close to 
that you're going to make something happen. You made a commitment. You're getting a lot of recognition, too. You're getting a lot of recognition. If you aren't getting recognition for something that you're doing, a dream that you're attaining, a dream that you're building up, you're getting ready to get some recognition. You're getting ready to be recognized a real big, big time. Big time. I see we got divine feminine and divine timing. What a what it's something about it's something about a divine feminine here. This could be your energy. Some of you for the men that are watching, there's something about this divine feminine that could be in your life. Okay. Spirit say it's all about timing. Spirit wants you to stay devoted. I feel like there's some things that like when you deal, when you're in this situation, you have all of this on your back you're carrying a, a whole tribe on your back sometimes it may seem like you you know feeling a little grief behind it sometimes you get you know sometimes it could be overbearing okay i also see as well like you got somebody who's copying you who's mimicking you um as well too I see an offer. I see you could be a little afraid of some type of offer that could be on the table. We got fear and offer. You could be fearing some type of offer um, that, you know, I feel like you're, you're overthinking some type of offer. You're not sure about it. Okay. But spirits say the answer is no. Spirits say maybe there's an offer on the table. You're not sure if you're one if you want to take this this offer, this deal. The answer is no. This is what we got here. We got winter. So something could be coming. Um, this offer could be on the table right now because we're in winter energy. This is the season where I feel like there's an offer on the table. Um, you're not sure about spirit is saying the answer is no. Okay. Sometimes a lot of y'all could be letting your pride and ego. We know Sagittarius is very prideful. Some of y'all let y'all pride get in the way of things. But let's see what about this divine feminine and divine timing. It's something about the word div divine for me. Some of y'all get stuck. Um, some of y'all get stuck. Some of y'all are stuck and not sure if someone is going to return or what time someone is going to return. You could feel like this person is your soulmate and you want a fresh start with this person. You want a fresh start with this person. You feel like this person is your divine feminine or your divine masculine. And you, you know that the thing about divine is that it's ain't going to happen in divine timing. We got new direction. New direction. So you could be taking a new direction with this person. This person could be helping you realize your self-worth. Or you could be helping this person realize their self-worth. Yeah, I'm getting like somebody putting up a barrier. Somebody setting up a boundary. Okay. Somebody setting up a boundary. I see you and this person aren't together at this time. Like y'all are separated. But I see this person coming towards. Like I see some communication or some type of action getting ready to display in this in this situation right here. Dealing with, um, for a lot of you, this is a twin flame. I see some action getting ready to. See, this person could have been, could have been like we are unawakened. So this person could have been kind of like hiding, taking their time to themselves, 
not speaking, not coming, not coming forward, not taking action towards you. They're getting ready to take action towards you. But the thing about this is it had to be in divine timing. Okay. It had to be in divine timing. We got balance in the scales. Okay. Something definitely here about balance. Okay. Having patience. Taking things to the next level, but being patient about it. I feel like because this is where your commitment is right here. You made a commitment to this. It looks like to a lot of people. Like it's a lot of people involved. Like it's a it's a big deal. It's a big thing. And you're the one who's carrying this lantern that's guiding everybody to a better life, a bigger dream, goals being attained. Like, you're the one who has the key to unlock something here for a, a lot of people, okay? And I see you made some type of commitment. You made this commitment, okay? So, a compromise needs to be made, okay? So, you may have to surrender and make some type of compromise in order for this to attain this goal, but... It looks like it's going to be worth it. Tell me what else for Sagittarius, please. Give me another message for Sagittarius. seeing what someone is talking about when it comes to a connection, a business partnership, a relationship. I see you spying. Possibly on a Libra. Or a Libra is spying on you. Okay. Excuse me. We got the uh, Four of Wands and the Six of Cups, the Knight of Wands. I see you wanting a return to a situation that could have been a little stressful. Um, but it's something about it. It's like it's, it does something to your ego. It boosts your ego. It uh, makes you feel real prideful. Whenever you leave this situation, you feel like... It's an ego booster. It's a. It's definitely an ego booster. It boosts your ego. It does. So you're thinking of a way how to balance this out. We got the lovers here and the queen of wands. This is someone that you love. Okay. This person is very good. They got that go get it energy. They do it for you. Like this. This person does it for you. They. They are like a match to you. Like they match your energy. So you're thinking of a way to try to balance something out. Yes, it's like, oh, we got the Queen of Wands and Two of Cups. It's like this connection is perfect in your eyes like this is how you see it yes yeah, knight of cups you offering this person uh either for some this is a business partnership for some this is romance okay but an offer is on the table an offer is on the table you just waiting for them to give you you just waiting on the word you just waiting on the word and then you'll be there you just waiting on it but you feel like it's a perfect match. Ooh. <laughs> like you love the tempo of it. Like the tempo of it is just like upbeat. It's real upbeat. It makes you feel like young, youthful. It makes you feel real good. Like it makes you feel good. 
maybe when you are having a little bit of anxiety this person is giving you hope this situation you know is giving you the energy that you need to keep going okay wow it looks like in the past something didn't work out i see that something didn't work out in the past like you thought it was gonna work out but you got this new idea that you're going after you got this new idea you got some new energy something new that you're going after but previously it didn't work something did not work out I see you being hurt by this situation. Something didn't work. Something didn't work out. I see you being hurt. You real hurt about it. That something didn't work. But I, st I see you manifesting. Okay. I see you manifesting. For sure. Stand positive. I'm staying positive. Okay. I see you making plans possibly with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Leo. Um, yeah, it's like you you're ready. You're ready. You're ready. You're taking a leap of faith. You're doing what you need to do. Um with this person, I see a partner. This person over here is fine on you. They're over here spying on you. This person over here is watching you. They watching your moves. They're watching to see how you're coming, how you what you got, what's what's next, what you come what you came up with. You know, like that's the type of energy that I'm getting. They they watching you. I'm yeah, I'm even getting pocket watching you. I'm even getting pocket watching you. Big time pocket watching you. I see you two could be meeting up. Yep, I see y'all meeting up, um, and I see a conversation going on here. Somebody asking somebody. I'm seeing a meetup, okay? I see you meeting up with somebody, and y'all going to get this thing popping and going there all over again. So this is somebody that you dealt with. Something could have been a business deal, but with that three of pentacles here, could have been something that didn't go how you expected it to go previously. I see y'all meeting up again, and then doing this all over again. It looks like it's going to be prosperous this time. Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. Yeah, the feelings is still there. It's still, it, it's, it's like, yeah, like. <clears throat> you know all about this person. You know this person already. Like I said, this person may be over here pocket watching you. They trying to see what you gonna come up with, what you gonna do, what you you know, what you gonna do, how you gonna move. They trying to see what you all about. Are you all talk? This person over here watching your moves because they trying to figure out if you just all talk. Okay, so this person think you all talk, but really you you really about to go in on their ass. You really finna show them, no baby, this ain't all talk. Hmm. I ain't all talk. I, I really see something that didn't work out. Could be something, um, like I said, business oriented, a business deal, something that, that didn't go that didn't go right before is going right this go round. Okay. So that's the message that I got for y'all. If this message resonated or helped you in any way, shape, or form, guys, be sure to like the video. As well, guys, be sure to comment below. Let me know what's going on. As well as share with your family and your friends. If you're new, be sure to hit that um, the subscribe button. Click the bell so you won't miss out. You'll get the notifications when I go, um, when I post, okay? So until next time, ciao for now, guys.